What's going on guys? It's your boy Brando. Today I want to talk to you guys about Black Ops Cold War Season 2 Reloaded and the update that is coming to Call of Duty. I want to let you guys know about the Reloaded update file size along with the release date and I also want to show you guys the new Necro King little, uh, I want to call it the blueprint that is in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War right now it is the Necro King Master Craft bundle it's pretty cool you can get it on the krieg as well it looks pretty awesome it's a little dragon on there but i want to showcase you guys a little video of it at the end of this video so you guys can either go ahead listen to me ramble on about season two reloaded of uh, file size and whatnot or skip to the end and watch the little cool tracer pack for the necro king mastercraft bundle all right ladies and gentlemen without further ado let's get on with the video so Black Ops Cold War Season 2 brings some exciting new content to this year's Call of Duty title. Already fans can enjoy four new weapons, as well as new online game modes, maps, score streaks, and even more. It's also come in hand in hand with the new open world zombies experience, which we all know is called Outbreak. And is probably the most innovative game mode in recent COD history. So now Black Ops Cold War Season 2 Reloaded has been revealed by a leaker and is bringing even more new content into the fray. But what's new in the mid-season update, you may ask? And when is it dropping, you may ask? Well, there's a range of new exciting content that is coming, and I want to let you guys know when and where it is coming to. So, first and foremost, the update will be bringing some additional Promise Season 2 content to Black Ops Cold War. This includes the mansion map for 2 vs 2, and three versus three game modes, and the Golova multi-team map, which we were promised on the uh, little season map drive, uh, the ZRG 20 millimeter sniper rifle, and of course, much more more is to come. So, it is also will be the, the time where Cold War players finally have the R1 Shadow Hunter crossbow return. Now, if you've been watching my videos the last couple days, I've talked to you guys about how the Shadow Hunter crossbow has been taken away from Call of Duty. And it will be returned finally after Treyarch accidentally released and removed the weapon early. If you're on, if you were one of the users who unlocked the weapon early, Treyarch is making unlocking the crossbow easier the second time around. I also uh, have gotten confirmation that a new map for Black Ops Cold War Zombies Outbreak mode is coming soon. So if you guys saw my videos the last couple days, I'll leave them a uh, link down in the description below talking about the new map that is coming out for Black Ops Cold War Outbreak. It should be the Sanatorium map, so you guys can go ahead and talk about that as well. So I imagine this expansion map will be uh, certain to drop in a Season 2 Reloaded update. There's also a major weapon balance coming in Black Ops Cold War Season 2 Reloaded as well. I'm hoping that this will finally be the end of Cold War's most overpowered multiplayer weapon. Finally, a new leak confirms that eight more Call of Duty maps are coming to Cold War. And renowned leaker Tom Henderson believes that we could see some returning locations in Season 2 Reloaded. Tom Henderson says five to six of them have been developed, so it's possible, but he's not entirely sure if we'll be getting a remastered map coming with the Season 2 Reloaded update. Now, let's talk about the approximate file size for Black Ops Cold War Season 2 Reloaded, thanks to the new update to the PlayStation database. According to PlayStation Game Size over on Twitter, the PS5 update for Black Ops Cold War is set to be approximately 4.6 gigabytes. This is likely to be similar on other platforms as well when the preload goes live. In total, this brings the game's file size up to a staggering 119.3 gigabytes, making it quite a drain on the hard drive space for both the PS4 and the PS5 alike. As for updates, releases, uh, the release date... Season 2 Reloaded is likely going to be dropping on March 25th, which is what many fans believe right now. The Cold War updates tend to launch on Thursdays, and it seems more likely to drop on the 25th uh, coming this week than on April 1st, which we all know is April Fool's Day. Now, with Black Ops Cold War Season 3 release date, which is suspected to be uh, arriving not long after that, it's only logical for Season 2 Reloaded to drop very soon around March 25th. It could be that the next major update is when we finally see the new Warzone map in action. After all, a new leak recently revealed our first look at the second Warzone map, and that's uh, more a rumor predicts that the next Warzone map will have a much larger 
player count. Like so challenges? it's rumored that we'll have about 250 players the in the new level. Warzone map as well. Today, and like Modern Warzone over on Twitter has been doing some cryptic tweeting out the last few hours during the making of this video. He's talking about how we'll have a ice rink in the vi in the uh, new map, which is, I would say that makes sense because we're expecting Alpine to be in the new Warzone map. So it's not a huge surprise, but he also goes on and talked about shotguns are going to take over Warzone again soon. And uh, maybe this time we won't have fire rounds to use with these shotguns as well. Uh, Modern Warzone also talks about how it would cost six thousand dollars to purchase every bundle that has been available for Warzone lately well, golden crate right next to buy to in the Call of Duty uh, store as well. So, uh, so you see with that being said, map. guys, let's go ahead like and talk about the, the new Necro King Mastercraft Mastercard. bundle. Let's go ahead and show you guys the video of that Dragon it looks pretty map. awesome. Now, everybody, this new Mastercraft bundle is twenty four hundred COD points. And includes very much an awesome skin for the new Krig. It also includes a few items in the shop as well. So you get a light machine gun Charlie. Uh, it's called the Cold Spear. You also get a charm called Dragon Stone. You also get a vehicle skin for the snowmobile. And it's called Dead Sled. You also get a Frozen Waste calling card. A new Necro King emblem. The Necromancer accessory. And the vehicle horn called climatic. So you get a lot for your 2400 cob point. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash the like button. Please subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit the notification button. And until next time, squids, I'll see you later.